hello everyone uh, welcome to this session so in this video i am going to uh, demonstrate the procedure for installing ns2 on windows version 7 8.1 10 or 11 so first of all i would like to say that whatever procedure i am going to say it is guaranteed to uh, work successfully on version 8.1 as well as version 10 okay so i can't guarantee whether it works in windows 7 and windows uh, version 11 okay so this uh, the procedure might work on windows 7 or might not work on uh, windows 7 and 11 okay so the operating system i am going to use is windows 10 so this procedure is guaranteed to work on windows 10 as well as i have tested it on windows 8.1 okay so let's see the process mm, the first step is to download uh, a zip file from google drive so click on this link it will take you to the browser and it will show you download button so click on this download button and just download the file it will take some time because the size of the file is approximately 200 mb okay so uh, after you download uh, the file you will get this okay it's a zip file so just right click that and whatever software you are using just unzip the file so i am using 7zip so i am clicking on extract here so once you click the extract here it will extract the folder okay so you will get a folder like this ns2.35 that is the first step and as well as second step to extract the zip file which i have already done so inside the inside the folder you will have all these folders and files so let me show you just open this so you have three folders one is norodin ns local other files mm -hmm. and you have a set of file so this is the setup file for Sijwin. So we are going to install a um, software called Sijwin. And this is the setup file for that. Okay. So that is step two. And step three is installing Sijwin application. Okay. So what is this software going to do is uh, just think it of like a software uh, which gives uh, windows the capability of running linux commands okay so you are making your windows turn into a linux machine okay uh, right so instead of go uh, taking you through these screenshots i will just show you the live process so just double click this setup file whenever this message is displayed click on yes okay so this is the initial screen that you will see so click on next now in the next screen it is asking you choose a download source so there is no need to download we have already uh, downloaded the files and they are available inside this folder so click on install from local directory and click next now it is asking to select root install directory so just leave it as it is by default it will install in c drive under sijwin folder don't change this it is not recommended so click on next okay now this is important select local package directory so when you see the screen click on browse okay so before doing that i will tell you where the files are available so open this ns2.35 folder open ns local so there will be a folder called http open that folder so this is the folder you have to select there okay so you have to select this release folder so let's do that click on browse uh, so the file is on desktop uh, it is under ns 2.35 folder and expand ns local and expand http folder then select this release folder okay select this and click ok so you will see the path like this okay you can click on next now okay now it is asking to select packages so here at the bottom you will see default so click on this arrows so that it becomes installed 
okay just click on the arrows and make this install and now click next so that the software gets installed onto your system okay so that's all since i have already installed the software i am not doing it so you have to click next to install it okay so whatever process i have told you now i am showing you here in the pdf so install from local directory mm, select the local package directory uh, select the release folder click on uh, make this install and click on next okay and finally it will ask you to create a icon on the desktop so you, if you want the icon you can check it and click finish okay so that is step 3 installing sijuan so after installation you will see an icon like this sijuan on the desktop okay now step 4 is to install another software called xming so click on this link it will take you to the browser okay click on download your download will start okay so after downloading xming just install it the installation process is very easy no need to change anything click on next 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 and finish that's all so that is how you install xming and uh, before going to next step let me tell you uh, something about xming so what does xming do is actually uh, what is the use of sijuin is it will bring up a terminal like this where you type comments and uh, see the output of the comments okay so it doesn't have any gui output you can't see any application windows etc etc so to see the application windows we have to install xming so that is why we have installed xming to see the graphical output okay so in in, a, in the coming few minutes you will see what is the use of xming and step 5 so as i have already shown you one of the folder inside ns 2.35 is noridin right so you have to copy that folder and paste it at this location okay inside the sijuan folder there will be a folder called home there you have to po uh, paste this folder no rhythm. so let me show you that ns 2.35 so here is the folder that you need to copy so copy now go to the sijuan installation which is c drive sijuan home here you have to paste it so i have already pasted it so you need to uh, paste the folder here okay so the other folder uh, this is created with the windows username so on my system the windows username is admin on your system this might be something else okay so copy paste no within folder that is step 5 and step 6 is setting up environment variables so there is a file called dot bash rc at this location okay in the sijuan folder home directory there is a windows user directory which is admin on my system on your system this might be something else so let me show you that file uh, c drive sijuan home admin okay this might be something else so whatever folder you are having here just open it in that you will find dot bash rc file okay so in that file you have to edit that file and you have to paste all this text there okay so to make it easy for you um, i have already provided all the text inside the directory other files so just open this other files you will have a text file called bash or c environment variables open that so select all this text copy this okay and in the bash rc file that we have seen just edit this file maybe with a notepad plus plus or notepad or whatever go to the end of the file okay and paste it here okay i have already pasted it so you just have to paste this text here nothing to change uh, anything in this okay that's all so that is this step Okay, that is step 6.
now step 7 is running the example tcl file okay so the example file is available in this location okay so let me show you that mm. c sigwin home noradin examples so in this folder you will have one file called ex2.tcl okay now what we have to do is open the sigwin terminal okay you will see a uh, application like uh, i mean you will see a terminal like this now give this command cd slash home slash not then slash examples cd slash home not then examples okay so if you want to see the list of files you give the command ls and hit enter okay so these are all the files available at this location one of those files is ex2.tcl okay so you can execute that file which is the ns2 script by giving the command ns ex2.tcl so let's do that ns ex2.tcl Okay, now it is saying name, no display name and no display environment variable. So you will get this error message uh, if you are not running the Xming software. Okay, and also after after running the Xming, we have to do something. I will tell you. Okay, so let's see. So this is the error message we have seen just now. So now what you have to do is, uh, I think i didn't show you one so there is a note here before running the example program make sure that x main server is already running okay so how to run the x main go to search type x main you will see this click on that okay so once you click on that x main will start running in the system tray like this okay that is step one you need to do okay now next one is as mentioned in the pdf instructions you have to copy this text copy and you need to paste it here and hit enter okay now you run the previous command for running the file which is ns ex2.tcl okay it will take some time yes now this is the output which is network animator okay you can maximize this and you here you can click the reset button to uh, make the topology a little bit better okay now this is better now let's run the script now as the time progresses you can drag the bar okay now you can see the flow of data right it is going very fast to slow it down just go to this slider at the top right corner and take it to the left slide it to the left okay okay this is better so you can see the traffic is going from node 0 to node 2 okay and these longer packets is the actual data and these smaller packets are the acknowledgements for the data Okay, these small packets are acknowledgements. So this is how uh, you can install uh, network simulator and see the output using NAM. NAM means network animator. Okay, so it's a GUI software using which you can see the output of, uh, I mean, uh, the output when you execute the NS2 scripts. Okay. So that is the last step and you can see the output like this okay so that's it guys uh, so this is how you install ns2 on windows uh, versions uh, 7 8.1 10 or 11 so as i already told you this will work uh, i mean this procedure is guaranteed to work on 8.1 as well as 10 i can't guarantee if it works on 7 or 11 it might work okay so for windows 11 i will do another video 
uh, for how to install NH2. Okay, so uh, if you people are able to follow the procedure and install NH2, just click the like button and also you can comment whether you have installed it or not. And if you if you are facing any problem, you can also uh, post it as a comment in the comment section below the video. Okay, and I will provide this PDF as well as a website link as a reference for uh, for this procedure. Okay, so that's it. Thank you.